What is going on guys? This is Bad Display Fitness and today is uh, Wednesday, May 12th. Gonna be a speed deadlift day here in the garage. I got Judge Judy over there holding the camera. We got Seth. Hi. And Hi. Um, we're gonna be moving through some, some stuff. Today um, is gonna be kind of a fast workout um, because everything's gonna be fairly light and I, I'm keeping things fairly light for a reason. Um, after the workout last night, I was doing some, some pull-ups and I felt just like this kind of tweak at my, uh, my lat tie-in. And um, I, it's just a little sore and tender. I, I don't think it's anything serious, just a little, little muscular strain. Um, but it's definitely something I don't want to piss off even more. Um, so I'm going to lighten up um, what, I, what I would normally do, I think, even for the wedding warm-up. Um, and then today, the way that I wrote things out, I wrote things in a manner that kind of specifically addressed the back to try to flush a lot of blood. Um, so just kind of a food for thought for you guys. If you ever you hurt something, strain something or whatever, um, the, the ticket for trying to repair things and get, get back to normal again is to increase blood flow to that, that area. Um, so immobilizing things and trying to shy, shy away from moving that, that body part is really not the way you wanna go. You wanna be able to stimulate the lymphatic system to pull you know um, uh, bad stuff out of there. You want to inspire the circulatory system to pump blood into it um, and to, to heal. Because if there's no blood to that tissue, then it, it won't heal. So increasing blood flow is a good way to go. And so by that, what we're going to do today is a bent DB row. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, dumbbell RDL uh, to focus on the lower back and, and kind of hamstrings. Uh, we're going to focus on some bent rear dumbbell flies, again, to kind of hit that, um, that back some blood into there and then we're going to end with some banded high pulls again you know kind of using that back to pump blood into that upper back area so i wrote today's winning warm-up kind of specifically to address something that was bothering me try to increase blood flow and kind of precipitate some some rehabilitation for myself um real quick on the front side of this i want to say what's up to my man chief holbrook um he wrote me a message on, on ig today saying that uh, up and drum he had three separate conversations with three separate people um, and who were talking about the channel and like the channel and have taken some inspiration, some knowledge from what, from what we're doing. So real quick, for, for those of you that are up in Fort Drum, wanted to say thank you for you guys checking out my channel. It means a lot. I got word from Chief, so if you know John Holbrook and uh, you know he's around you, uh, you know, give him a punch in the arm, tell him I said what's up, and tell him he's a damn quitter for getting out of the Army in four months. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> um, but like I said, for, for those of you at Fort Drum that are supporting the channel, I want to say thank you guys. I got, I got word on that just today and it means the world to me, so thank you very much. Um, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get moving into the workout. I'll show you the movements for the winning warm-up and then we're going to move into some speed deadlift. Again, just working on that velocity and trying to work the speed portion of power. So um, that's it. Hopefully you guys will stay around and check out the video and we'll see you on the other side. Here we go. No. Cool. So just a little point of conversation while we're doing this speed deadlift, we're working on that velocity. So trying to create that explosive power. And I want to highlight kind of the difference of my speed work versus Seth and Nat right now. So they're still de developing that, 
that neural connection to, to feel what it's like to really power for them through the movement. So you can see that how they move. But we really want to create like an explosive maneuver and a lot of that explosivity comes from the hips and really driving hard to finish the hips. So I just want to demonstrate that real fast, you know, for you guys at home because this is what we want. We want to create that explosive power. And then Seth, will you do me a favor? Will you call out what the speed is? Yep. Yes. So we want to treat it like we're going to explode out of that out of the hole, wanting to keep the the hips underneath the shoulders, right? We don't want that butt to shoot back and out. We want to come up as one unit, almost like we're going to jump, but we obviously don't want to lose traction or lose foot placement. All right, so all those were over uh, one meter per second. So moving pretty fast, which is what we want. And I'm doing, you know, 225 obviously minus the band. Uh, but what that's doing is it's, as I'm coming up toward the top, the band is, is deloading. So I'm getting more and more of that 225 as dead weight. So just trying to create that explosive power to generate the feeling of really powering through a movement, right? So um, force equals mass times acceleration. So working on the other side, of that uh, of the power by working on that acceleration. So, just food for thought for you guys at home if, if you want to incorporate speed work into your um, routine. All right, cool. That's it. <sighs>
versus, oh, I felt whatever. So I wanted to throw that out in the end. It's just a food for thought for you guys because I know there's a lot of diverse people that watch the channel for diverse reasons that have diverse uh, fitness goals. So a lot of military, you know, brethren, uh, focused on like military type stuff or you know whatever and then there's a, you know people who maybe are a little bit older and are just kind of trying to retain uh, some level of fitness and whatever else so a vast array of, of goals and things like that so everyone's gonna be in a slightly different space um, but being smart taking things slow being objective you know looking for that feedback um, you know through video or whatever else or working with a coach to be able to break down and diagnose where your failure points are are all very very helpful things to be able to help improve yourself and really subtle improvements can make a long, a big difference overall. Um, you be, being able to just be a little bit more proficient in your movement can really help increase your ability to move up your one rep max or you know, get a few more reps out of um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. So really cleaning up movement is, is a really big thing. So I don't mean to belabor the point too much, but I, I just think it's a, really, it's a really unique point that kind of that cropped up out of this training session. And I really like to have something at the end of these sessions for you guys to be able to take away from where it's not just you watching me train, but there's there's something to glean from that. So I feel like that's kind of the point that I wanted to make in this video. So, um, again, just really wanted to thank all my military brethren out in Fort Drum uh, for you guys that are supporting the channel and talking about the channel and anyone that, um, that I'm inspiring to go out and, and chase your own fitness goals. That means the world and I was super excited to hear that. Um, so again, if you know if you know Chief Holbrook, give him a little punch in the arm, tell him I said what's up. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it in the chat box below, I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me with everything that you do. It means the world, so thank you very much. And remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like clean up your motor patterns and make sure that you're moving in, in a more efficient manner, it's never gonna happen if you don't take the time to get in and train despite. You're either gonna find an excuse, you're gonna find a way, and I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Thought I told y'all that it's my world. They ain't try me yet. Get some mind blown. When they throw shade, that's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all. That's a different time zone. Ooh, I gotta go. I've been working, told them please don't hit my phone. I'm in my zone, bruh. Just leave me alone.